Tell us, what would a successful G20 uh, look like for Prime Minister Abe as he hosts this summit? I think uh, first, uh, most important thing is that the security. Uh, we're going to have uh, all these uh, more than 30 leaders of the world in Osaka for the first time. We haven't had uh, such a big meeting ever. Uh, we had G7, G8, but G20 for the first time. And, uh, so this, and it's not capital as well. So uh, security is the most important thing. Uh, as for the meeting itself, I think uh, uh, it's, uh, it's called G20, but uh, I think people's attention is more like a B20, bilateral hmm. of 20 countries. Uh, US, China, US, uh, uh, Russia, uh, Japan, China, all these uh, meetings, uh, and uh, especially t maybe T10s, uh, Trump's 10 is, uh, getting uh, more attention uh, out of those. And uh, uh, we uh, uh, look forward to uh, seeing uh, some progress. Uh, uh, Prime Minister and uh, President Xi Jinping will be meeting today. Yeah, we are really looking forward to what could come out of those negotiations. It seems that President Trump's strategy on Asia has been pretty much focused on its China strategy. How does Japan fit into the picture? I think uh, first, uh, most important thing is that U.S. and Japan uh, should uh, keep alliance uh, uh, steadfastly and uh, so that U.S. could concentrate on uh, China, North Korean issues. But uh, it seems that uh, Mr. Trump has been uh, sending some uh, mixed messages and uh, that concerns a bit uh, uh, some of us, if I may say. Yeah, that uh, one of those mixed messages, of course, is that the Trump thought bubble, if we can call it that, uh, that maybe that uh, post-World War II U.S.-Japan security pact be revisited. Now, does that look to you like a serious idea or, or merely a bargaining chip ahead of uh, trade discussions between the U.S. and Japan? Uh, I don't know if he has uh, been thinking about uh, bargaining as a bargaining tip, uh, but... Uh, uh, it's uh, not a very good idea, if so, because uh, uh, if you uh, use the Japan Security Alliance in that way, the Japanese has to be thinking that, hey, can we really go on our uh, road, our path, uh, as we have been? And uh, uh, just for trade talks, if he's thinking that way, that's not a very good idea. Yeah, um, if he was thinking that way, that would, of course, uh, free uh, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to, uh, well, make Japan what he might describe as a, a more normal member of the international community in terms of having a, a more functional military. But what sort of domestic issues would that raise in Japan and regionally as well for Japan's near neighbours? I think uh, regional neighbours uh, will be concerned. And uh, as for uh, you, both U.S. and Japan, uh, uh, it would be better, as for time being, uh, to keep uh, this alliance uh, for United States. As I said, uh, they could concentrate on uh, other countries which are not American allies. Second, uh, Americans are trying to sell uh, F-35s and other arms to Japan. It must be... Uh, a tremendously uh, big economic package for United States as well. As for Japan, uh, we have been uh, uh, relying on U U.S. for uh, security, and uh, many of the Japanese are thinking that uh, it's a, it has been a very uh, correct way of uh, keeping our security, and I think people don't, don't think of uh, changing it. So as long as uh, the United States is uh, steadfast, I think, J Japan is ready to be that way. Yet Prime Minister Abe, Abe has been upping Japan's defense capabilities as well. Could we expect this to give him more leverage when it comes to perhaps more changes to the pacifist constitution? I think uh, uh, as for the revision of the constitution, it's a different thing. Uh, but uh, Japan, I think, uh, should fortify its security. and. Uh, uh, security forces and uh, 
maybe not uh, too abruptly, too quickly, but uh, steadily we have to uh, continue to fortify it. Look at, uh, for example, uh, countries around us. Uh, China has been uh, increasing their defense budget by 10 more than 10 percent every year. Uh, while Japan has been about 1% or so. And uh, we haven't, our level of uh, defense spending hasn't uh, changed that much so, uh, in the last 30 years. So it's a, mm. a big uh, difference between uh, our neighbors and us. So it's time that we have to be putting a little bit more. And I think, uh, uh, but it's a very different thing from changing constitution too. Mr. Ambassador, let's turn back to the economic side of things when it comes to the U.S. and Japan yes. relationship. How big of a threat is, is the upcoming negotiation between Japan and the U.S. to the Japan-U.S. political alliance? Yes. Uh, this uh, uh, bilateral dialogue uh, uh, negotiations with the uh, U.S. and Japan is very important. I think. Uh, we should uh, uh, come to agreement uh, sooner than later. And uh, our focus is agriculture and uh, automobile, I think. And, uh, uh, but it has to be, the important thing is it has to be win-win uh, for both sides. It's not uh, should be win in agriculture, win in uh, automobile for United States and uh, nothing for Japan. So uh, I think American side has to keep that in mind as well. Yeah, of course, a long-running sore point has been the subsidies uh, that are extended to Japanese farmers. Is it realistic uh, to expect those to be rolled back in any meaningful way? Uh, I think uh, what uh, Americans has been uh, thinking more is not subsidies, but uh, they would like to come into Japanese market uh, uh, like uh, Australians or. Uh, New Zealanders or other countries which are in TPP uh, and uh, because the uh, uh, I think the other countries of TPP will be put in a lot more better uh, uh, condition or situation than US farmers and that's what US farmers has been worrying it's not uh, trying to uh, reduce subsidies of uh, Japanese government to Japanese farmers, but they want to be equal footing as well uh, with uh, uh, T, uh, TPP countries. Uh, and uh, I think uh, in order to do so, I think uh, other uh, TPP countries have uh, made a concession to Japan. So I think uh, U.S. has to be thinking that too. Ambassador, just finally, uh, as we look ahead to this uh, G20 meeting about to begin in Osaka, what's the realistic uh, best case scenario outcome from your point of view? I think, uh, uh, of course, uh, people would uh, want uh, the word like uh, fighting for, uh, against uh, protectionism or th uh, those words, but uh, I don't think. Uh, uh, if the United States is not ready for that, uh, uh, we should expect that. And uh, I think we, uh, we should uh, focus uh, more on uh, successful bilateral dialogues, U.S.-Japan, U.S.-China. Maybe U.S.-China uh, will not come to full agreement, but if they could ha uh, create a positive mood and try to uh, tell the ministers, negotiators uh, again to uh, negotiate uh, uh, sincerely with each other. I think mm. that's uh, uh, one step uh, forward as well.